As of March 6, 2022, St. Lucia has diagnosed a total of 22,788 cases in country with 82 active cases presently. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 7.6 per 100,000 population per day, which represents a 27% reduction from last week with a 9% average testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 0 0.5. We have noted a total of 362 COVID-19 deaths. We have five positive COVID-19 cases admitted at the respiratory hospital. Two cases are severely ill. This past week, we continue to register low numbers of cases. We are presently at the baseline point in the epidemiological curve. The public health indicators are within normal range. The fifth wave has been resolved. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has received confirmation of 17 new cases of the Omicron variant. 11 are female and 6 are male. Most of the cases are from Castries, Groseley and Labrie and range from 10 to 84 years. We continue to remind you of the following important measures as COVID-19 continues to be a threat. Avoid large crowds and crowded areas. If you develop respiratory symptoms, seek medical care and avoid contact with others. Avoid large meetings and crowded activities and social gatherings. Ensure that protocols are maintained at all workplaces and sectors. On minibuses, the commercial and tourism sector, gyms, hardware stores, supermarkets and recreational activities. Ensure safe physical distancing for face-to-face -face meetings and activities. Use of a face mask when in public places. Ensure regular cleaning of surfaces and sanitation of all business establishments and environments. Ensure you remain in quarantine or isolation if you are direct contact of a case or a member of your household is positive. Limit social activities at work. Encourage vaccination of employees. The Pfizer, AstraZeneca, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available at the various wellness centers as per published COVID-19 vaccination schedule. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19 in severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. The booster vaccine is also available for persons who have been fully vaccinated for over six months. Everyone who has not been vaccinated is urged to get vaccinated urgently. We appeal to all organizations, public and private sector, to ensure the strengthening of all public health protocols. Let us strive to keep the number of cases low as we live, work, study, and recreate safely with COVID-19.